What's good about being here Fridays and Saturdays is that we can play football with all the lads and like enjoy ourselves, innit? Like otherwise, otherwise we'd be out on roads and then doing freaky stuff normally, innit? Within the Late Lounge, my role is um, overseeing um, that it runs um, properly and that the staff are okay and the young people are um, safe and you know and they've got enough activities to do. It's provide a safe and secure environment and provide enough positive activities for them to keep them engaged throughout the, the whole of the evening. So what do you usually do on a Saturday when you're not here? Go around my nan's, just go on the computer and chill. Well, the project was um, identified due to the fact there was a number of issues um, that occurred over the past couple of years um, and the police along with other agencies, the youth offending team, um, city councillors and so forth felt that it was necessary to have positive activities for young people to engage in as a prevention method and an intervention method to keep young people off the street and away from antisocial behaviour. Keep people off the streets, decrease the crime rate of youth and um, it, will, it, will, it will help us keep fit and all that. Instead of sitting there on a bench on the street smoking and all that. I got onto the youth work course to open my eyes on how to uh, work with the young kids of the community. Uh, you know, as you know, the, a lot of the youth are very hard to reach, very negative, involved in the wrong cars, involved in the wrong stuff. Um, and out on the streets, it's very easy to go the wrong path. And um, you know, I've learned that, and I made that promise to myself as well that I want to work and help the community. People at the Highfields Community Association have given me the opportunity. Um, uh, people like Aisha and Jay, you know, they helped me sort out my DBS application for free from my academy. Um, you know, put me onto Talent Match, where I've now become the Talent Match project coordinator. Starting as a volunteer here over a year ago, and the young people over there, I don't want to put you under pressure, but they'll tell you that they enjoy the session. And, uh, you know, I love, I love being around them. I love trying to motivate them and inspire them and uh, trying to take them away from all that. I see them over there laughing. <laughs> do you like it? Do you like it here? For me? Yes. Yeah, yeah, man. I love it. Like it. <laughs> See, and uh, this, this is what it's all about, you know. Being a young person, I understand that when I was younger, we never really used to like the people dressed up in suits coming up to us, asking us about our personal lives. Now that I can actually be as a young person, reach down to a young person, get to their level, understand them and they understand me and have that understanding with each other, that we can work together. I've been in the same shoes as them. I've been, I've, I've been in the position where I've been unemployed, where I couldn't buy myself clothes, where I couldn't live properly, I couldn't pay the rent. Yeah, you know, I've been out on the streets and that's why I've got that experience to share my story, to reach out to young people and say, do you know what, together we can achieve something. And I'm hoping that my story can inspire young people and we can get to the top, having faced unemployment for over two years in the past. 
I know how it feels being in the same position as a young person who's got certain issues around their lives. Being part of Talent Match, I understand the whole concept now and I can reach down to them, get onto their level, speak to them as if I were in their shoes, make them understand the situation and how important it is to go about your own life, to inspire your own life, motivate yourself and get out there. I use my own story as an example and that's worked for me. Um, we've had many successful case studies as well and uh, I'm always using the positives rather than the negatives to get people to get themselves and to take that first step to actually get themselves out of bed. Come to the centre wherever we need to meet and make a start. Maybe whether it's CV writing or just applying for a job. Whatever that is, getting involved in some sort of voluntary or getting work experience. Hi, my name's Tariq and I'm one of the staffs now at Highfield Centre. 10, 15 years ago, um, I remember um, the team from Highfield Centre actually approached me when I was a teenager, wandering around lost and uh, they actually tried um, for us to get involved in youth projects. And a matter of fact, we did actually get involved and we did actually do a youth project back then as well. Um, we did a, a youth club in uh, Medway School um, in the mobiles where um, we had the computer games, board games uh, and our whole own area for young people to come, um, relax and keep out of trouble. Um, since then, I got a bit lost, um, you know, I've been to school, college, and then uh, I've been waving around. So about two and a half years ago, I re-approached Haifu Centre after all those years. And I came and I remember coming in and saying that, listen, look, I need help. I don't know what to do, but and I don't know what I want to do and how I want to do it, but I need help. Yeah. Um, so they basically assessed me and said, look, um, you'd be good um, as a youth worker. And um, I didn't have no, quali no qualifications, no skills, no experience, nothing. So Highfield Centre actually helped me get experience by volunteering. They got me qualifications. I'm actually a level two youth worker now and I'm continuing to study. Um, I've got qualification and at the same time, I'm actually even working for Highfield Centre. It's actually amazing the work Highfield Centre has done. This shows that um, any effort you make does not go to waste. Sometimes it takes a while to come. Sometimes it takes a while for you to see the fruits of it. And this is a typical example. Haifa Center approached me 10, 15 years ago. And 10, 15 years on now I'm here, I want to give back to the community the same way Haifa Center gave to my community. Uh, hello, my name is Adam. I'm 22 years old. I joined Talamak uh, at Haifa Center at the end of 2014 with the ambition to um, get a job at the end of it. Uh, at the start of 2015, um, with uh, another company tried to get me onto a uh, retail program because retail was something I was very um, confident about at the start, but um, I was unsuccessful, so I kept coming back and um, I kept coming to the dropping sessions. Uh, I did some volunteering at the latter part of 2015. Um, they were both through Highfield Centre and I really enjoyed it. Uh, at the end of 2015, I um, went on a hospitality program where I was successful and uh, went on to a four-week training where I really enjoyed it. Uh, f through the training, I gained two qualifications where I have received my um, certificates. Since then, I've joined the youth board for Talamach and uh, it's only been a couple of weeks, but I've enjoyed going to the meetings. Uh, that's my journey.